Hi, welcome to Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. In today's video, we're going to learn how to work with calendars using Selenium. More specifically, we're going to see how we can select a date from a date picker. And here we are on AutomateNow.io. And this is an input field for a date. If we click on it, we see that we get this calendar. And I can select a date. And I select a date, then this field gets populated with the date I selected. And notice that we have these navigation arrows where we can go to past dates or future dates. As we click this arrow, Notice how this text changes. So if we're going to automate this, we're going to need to grab a hold of this date that is being displayed so that we can keep track of it. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this element here. I'm going to right click and say inspect. And if we look here, we have a span element containing the month, May. We have another span here containing the year, 2021. So in essence, this is broken out into two elements. So we're going to need to keep track of this element and this element. Let us now build a locator for each one of these. I'm going to hit Control F and I'm going to use XPath because here we have a class that appears to be unique where we have UI dash date picker dash month and then UI dash date picker dash year. So we can write an XPath such as forward slash forward slash and then the name of the HTML tag which is span and then in brackets we're going to say at class because we're going to use the class name and this is going to be equal to and then in quotes we can type the name of the class in which was UI dash date picker dash month. That was one of them. And notice that this element is now highlighted and we only have one. So this is a good XPath that we can use because it is unique. For the year, we're going to simply substitute this month for year. And notice that the year is now highlighted. Let's go ahead and copy this XPath. And now we can start developing our test. And here I have a skeleton test method which I've named test select from date picker. So we're going to use our sandbox page class and say sandbox page dot select date. We haven't yet created this method, but we're going to do that next. This method is going to require three parameters. It's going to require a month, a day, and a year. So let's start by using today's date. We're going to say for the month, February. Next is going to be the day, which is seven. So comma seven and last we're going to enter the year which is 2021. Now let's go ahead and implement the method that accepts these three parameters. This is going to return a handle to the sandbox page. So we're going to say sandbox page. We're going to call the first parameter month. The second parameter will be day and the third parameter will be year. And we're going to begin by adding the locators for those two elements, the month and year. So let's go up here and add those two in here. So I went ahead and added those two locators here for the month and year. We're going to need one more here. And if we go back to the application, notice that the first thing we need to do here is to click on this element here, the date input field. So we need to grab a handle for this. So let's right click this and say inspect. And this one has an ID, so we're going to use that. Now let's go ahead and add the locator. The last locator that we're going to need is this arrow here. In the event that we do not find the date that we're looking for, we're going to need to click on this arrow here. So let's go ahead and inspect this element. And we could use any of these attributes here, such as data handler or title. Let's go with this title here. So let's go ahead and build the next path for that. We're going to do control F and say forward slash forward slash. This is an anchor tag. So we're going to put a, and then in brackets, we're going to say at title is equal to, and then in quotes, we're going to put the title. Now that we have our X path, let's go ahead and add it to our code. Let's go down to our method. Since the first thing we need to do is to click on that date input field, we're going to say driver dot find element. And here we pass the locator for that input field dot click. Once we click here, we need to check these values here. We need to know if this month and year matches what we're looking for. If it doesn't, we're going to need to click on this arrow. To do this, we're going to use a while loop and we say while the condition will be true 
Next, we need to check the month and year. So let's go ahead and create some variables to store those values. I'm going to say string current month is equal to driver that find element. And here we're going to pass the locator for the month field. And we're going to say dot get text. Let's go ahead and duplicate this line and do the same thing for the year. Next, we're going to use an if statement. And we'll say if current month dot equals month and current year dot equals year. I'm going to go over each of these steps in a minute. And here we're going to say break. Next, outside of that if statement, we're going to say driver dot find element and we're going to pass the locator for the right arrow and we'll say dot click all right so let's go through each one of these steps here the first thing that we do is clicking on that input field where the date goes we know that when we click here this calendar comes up so the next thing that we do is to verify this month and year and these are these two lines right here here we're checking the calendar month and we're storing that in this variable current month then we check the year and we store it in this current year variable. Then we use this if statement. The reason why we use this if statement is because we need to make a comparison. And these are the things that we are comparing. We're looking at the current month. Does it match the month that we're looking for, which is the one that the user is passing in here? And we're also checking to see if the current year matches what the user is looking for, passed in, in this variable here. If these two conditions are met, then we break out of this while loop. And this statement will get skipped so going back to the application, if we click here and we find the month, year, and day that we're looking for, there is no need for us to click on this right arrow. And that's why we're using this break statement to break out of this while loop. If we don't find the month and year that we're looking for, we go ahead and click on the right arrow. And the reason why we're using true in this while loop is because we want this code to be executed over and over until we find the month and year that we're looking for. So let's say that now we found the month and year. We're going to need to now write the logic to click on the actual day that we're looking for. So let's go back to the website and let's say that we're looking for the 10th right here. So let's right click on this element. We're going to inspect it. And if we look at the DOM here, we can see that this is inside of a table. If I put my mouse over this table element, we see that the entire calendar month is highlighted. We also see that this element here for the 10th is an anchor tag, which contains this text. So we could write an next path like this and say forward slash forward slash we're looking for a table and then we use forward slash forward slash again and this is basically saying look for something inside of that table and that something is an anchor tag next we're going to say in brackets text is equal to and then in quotes we can use 10 and we can use this xpath to find any date of the month so let's go ahead and copy this go back to the code and here we're going to say driver dot find element by dot xpath and we're going to pass in the xpath then we're going to say dot click but we need to get rid of this number 10 here and use this variable up here that the user is passing in and this is going to make sure that whatever day is being passed in we're able to click on it let's go ahead and run the test now so that we can see what is happening i'm going to go ahead and put a breakpoint right here and now i'm going to say run in debug mode All right, we hit our breakpoint, so let's go back to the application. And if we look at the date field, February 7th, 2021 has been selected, just as we expected. So what about if we want to select a different date? Let's go ahead and change this month here and say July. We're going to change the day to 4. So July 4th, 2021. Let's go ahead and run this again. As this runs, we should see the right arrow being clicked until the date is found. And we can see how the right arrow is being clicked. If we go back to the application, we can see that July 4th, 2021 is selected. Now that we know that our test is working as expected, we need to go ahead and add an assertion. And this is to make sure that whatever date we choose to select, it is actually being selected properly and displayed on the screen. So let's go here and create a new variable. I'm going to say string date is equal to sandbox page dot get date. Let's go ahead and implement this method.
and here we need to return the date. So we're going to use a common method that we have created before in this base page class. That method is called get text. So we can just call get text and we pass in the locator for the element that we're looking to get the text from. In this case is calendar field. As a quick refresher, let's see what this method is doing. And here we see that it's using driver that find element that get text and it's returning that text. Let's go back to sandbox page class. I forgot to use the same method up here. So let's go ahead and do that. I hope you can see what we're doing here. We're using the same method that we had in the base class. Now let's go back to our test and let's finish writing the assertion. And we're going to say assert equals date comma. And here we're going to put the date that we're looking for. July 4th, 2021. Now let's go ahead and run our test one last time. And we see that the test passed. In our example, we decided to enter the date by choosing from this calendar. Another approach that we could have taken is by simply entering the text in this field here. So say for instance that you want to enter July 4th, we would simply say July 4th, 2021. When we hit tab, notice that the date is selected. Another thing to note is that all calendars are not created equal. For example, if we look at this other website for Travelocity, we're going to see that when we click on this calendar section, it is showing us two separate months. So the method that we wrote to handle this calendar would not work for this calendar. Now that you have a general idea of how to work with calendars using Selenium, go out there and find some calendars so you can start practicing. Have fun. Thank you.